Welcome to our marketing automation episode. I'm Jason St. Cyr, and we're going to show you today how you can create a new marketing automation campaign. The marketing automation application is available from within the Sitecore dashboard. Within the application, you can create a new campaign by clicking on the Create button. On the left side, we see the canvas. This is where we're going to create and edit our campaign. On the right side, we have the toolbox, where we can find all the available elements that we can add on to the canvas. We're going to be dragging and dropping elements onto the canvas to build out our campaign. Notice that as I do so, we get shown little green dots where we're allowed to add those elements. Some elements can only be added in certain locations. For example, a conditional decision point can only be added after a listener or another decision point. The valid areas are shown with the green element. Now here I can continue building on my campaign, adding on elements, building everything out without having to specify the details of every single step. Now, if we want to specify the details of an element, we can click the element on the canvas. On the right side, the toolbar is going to be able to update and then show us the contextual information that's valid for that. And then we can set the information for that step. Notice that as I do so, the canvas also updates to provide a little summary of what we've done to apply to that particular element. Now, the first thing we usually specify in these types of campaigns is how users are going to get into the campaign. We do that by selecting the funnel, which is the start point. And then on the right side, we can start specifying how a contact is going to be enrolled into this campaign. We can choose to do it by goal, by event, by outcome, or we can build up a more complex rule using the rule set editor. In our case, we're going to choose a goal named register and apply that. As we start building out our campaign and adding more and more elements to the campaign, we'll notice that it can no longer fit onto the particular steps that we've already done. This is when we have to start using our zoom in and zoom out capabilities, as well as the drag and drop functionality. I can click on the canvas with my left click button, hold, and move the canvas around to be able to see the rest of the campaign. I can also use my mouse wheel to zoom out or zoom in. In the bottom left, we also have zoom controls that you can do to do manual zooming. If we need some more real estate for horizontal space, we can start collapsing the toolbox using the icon in the top right and use the same icon to bring it back. Now we can also start trimming down after we've started building a campaign. I can do so by selecting the element I want to remove and selecting on the little delete icon. Note that in this case, because I'm using a path, it's going to ask me which path I want to delete and which path I want to keep. So in this case, I want to delete the yes path. Note that the action element from the other path is kept after the delete. Now to save our campaign, we're going to use the save button and provide a title. We can also provide a description of the campaign. We'll save this. And now we can look at activating the campaign. We can use either the play button here, or under the list, we can see all the actions available to us. By selecting activate, contacts can now be enrolled into our campaign. 